You know, he's very popular in the Philippines. He has a very high approval rating in the Philippines, but he's very popular in the Philippines. Um, I, yes, I, I look forward to meeting him. If he comes to the White House, that's fine. I look forward to meeting him. I spoke with President Xi. We had a great talk. He's working very hard, I have to say. He's working very, very hard. And uh, if you can count on the reports coming out of China, that spread has gone down quite a bit. Uh, the infection seems to have gone down over the last two days. Did anybody ever hear of the great Alphonse Capone, Al Capone, great, great head of the mafia, right? Scarface. He got a scar that went from here to here, and he didn't mind at all. You know, if he had dinner with you, and if he didn't like the way you smiled him at dinner, he would kill you. You'd be dead. By the time you walked out of the nice restaurant, you would be dead. Scarface. In Roy Cohn, Trump found someone who loved risk, just like he did. And Cohn opened Trump's eyes to another idea, which Trump, of course, employs so well to this day, how to use the media to your advantage with the philosophy that any publicity is good publicity. Trump praised the Egyptian leader, calling him a friend, and gave the endorsement El Sisi was seeking. I don't know about the effort. I could just tell you he's doing a great job. Tens of thousands of people are locked in Egyptian jails for their political views. Twelve of them are U.S. citizens. Donald Trump is gushing again over Vladimir Putin. If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. Trump believes Putin called him brilliant a few months ago. Putin later said he only called Trump bright. But tonight, it's Trump's comments about the Russian president's leadership made to NBC News, which have brought serious fallout. I mean, the man has very strong control over a country. Now, it's a very different system, and I don't happen to like the system, but certainly in that system, he's been a leader far more than our president has been a leader. Retired General John Kelly, who of course served as White House Chief of Staff in the Trump administration, recounted several conversations where Trump spoke favorably about Hitler. Quote, he said, well, but Hitler did some good things, Kelly said of one conversation with Trump. I said, well, what? And he said, well, Hitler rebuilt the economy. But what did he do with that rebuilt economy? He turned it against his own people and against the world. And I said, sir, you can never say anything good about the guy. Nothing. End quote. Victor Orban has uh, done a tremendous job in so many different ways. Highly respected. Respected all over Europe. Uh, probably, like me, a little bit controversial, but that's okay. That's okay. You've done a good job and you've kept your country safe. Silence of the Lamb. Has anyone ever seen the Silence of the Lamb? The late, great Hannibal Lecter is a wonderful man. The late, great Hannibal Lecter. You're leaving this summit here in Singapore having determined that Kim Jong-un is a talented man. Well, he is very talented. Anybody that takes over a situation like he did at 26 years of age and is able to run it and run it tough, I don't say... He was nice, or I don't say anything about it. He ran it. Very few people at that age, you can take one out of 10,000 probably couldn't do it. Common parlance of the word rape, the jury found that he'd raped this woman. That's a fact. In every sentence ought to be Donald Trump, an adjudicated rapist. Right? This is not normal. 